welcome back to another video so we're going to do a kind of gel polish design today with a couple of new products that i've got so these are brand new textured gel paints from madame glam we've got them in black and white so they're the standard vegan cruelty free palm oil free hemma free 21 free formula there's the ingredients if anyone wants to screenshot it you can and this is same as the gel paints it cures in an led light for one minute and a uv light for two minutes don't forget guys you can get 30 percent off at madame glam using my code unpolished 30 it's always in my description box with a link to the website so you can't really see much in the pot what they're going to be like but i showed you anyway right and i've also pulled out these two little decals i wanted to do a new year kind of set so i thought they were quite fitting <laughs> So I'm going to use the Madame Glam application brush, fantastic brush this, I love how soft it is, it's really easy to use. And this nail is just going to be a full cover of the texture gel. So yeah, this is a gel paint and it's got like little grainy bits in it, can you see? Ain't it cool? Anyway, I've decided to jump on this trend that everybody seems to be jumping on at the minute of doing tweed. I thought I've got to give it a go. So I'm using this as my base for the tweed. So that's going to go in the lamp now for 60 seconds. It's really bizarre stuff, isn't it? But I like it. And this nail is going to be half and half. So the left hand side, straight down the middle, is going to be the texture gel. That's going to get a 30 seconds cure as well. So I'm just going to do the majority of it with this application brush. And then I'm going to use a little brush just to tidy it up. Didn't need to be perfect. I am going to be um, using a gel paint to separate these colours later in the video anyway. So this is the, I missed it. I think this is the ultra, ultra liner or ultra, ultra detailer brush. Just tidying it up a little bit. <laughs> So that's them two cured and like the gel paints this cures glossy it doesn't have a tacky layer or anything so you don't need to top coat it I love that so I'm using my favorite nude pink this is called rosy nude and I can't remember what this nail is yeah this is going to be a nail bed so when I'm doing a nail bed I like to use the brush out the bottle and just get a rough just roughly mark out where I'm going to want that nail bed and then again I'm going to use that ultra liner brush and just neaten it up Madame Glam gel polish is curing the lamp for 30 seconds I am going to give uh, this a second coat but I'll do the second coat off camera And uh, this, uh, 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 this nail is going to be just a full cover of the rosy nude and the nail that is half and half. I totally forgot about that. I left it out, <laughs> but I'll paint that other half in a minute when I finally twig that I've left it out. So I'm just going to paint the free edge of this with the texture gel. Again, I'm using the application brush to do the majority of it and the little liner brush, detailer brush uh, to do the rest of it. Again... I didn't need to worry about getting it bang on, crisp and neat because I'm going to be going over that smile line with some gold gel paint later in the video. So this is where we're at, I've got all my base colours now, so I'm going to start with the full tweed nail and I initially started out wanting to do them just with the black and the gold gel paint so I'm starting out with the black and I'm just doing little notches just, they don't need to be the exact same length, width just little notches, just dot them about everywhere you feel like you're going to want them um, yeah, and I'm going to stick them in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm going to cure the colours in between 
the colours because I didn't want them smudging into each other. So I whacked that in the lamp for 60 seconds. So I felt like I needed a third colour. So I went with grey. I just mixed the white gel paint with a little bit of the black gel paint and just kept mixing it until I got that shade of grey that I wanted. I didn't want it too light and I didn't want it too dark. So it's kind of a medium grey, isn't it? And same again, I'm just going to do little notches. Um, some of them are, go are going through the middle of the black. Some of them I'm doing like across the top of the black, across the bottom of the black. Some of them I'm just doing in the middle of nowhere. There's really no, um, no, what's the word? Yeah, just where I've, just crisscross them, <laughs> crisscross them all over the blacks and stick some on their own. Trust the process kind of set, I think this, isn't it? So lastly, now that grey has been cured, I'm going in with the gold. I didn't do as much with the gold. I did a little bit less. But again, just crisscrossing them across some of the grey and the black. Some of them um, just on their own. Just, yep, yeah, crisscross, crisscross. This should be called crisscross trend instead of tweed. Because that's all you're doing, crisscrossing these colours. <laughs> so that's going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds. And that's that nail finish now. Um, because the Madame Glam gel paints, they don't need top coating. They don't cure with a tacky layer. So I'm going to just show you this one last nail. Uh, and I'll do the other half of that other nail off camera because, it, yeah, it'll get repetitive and boring. So I'm just going to wipe the tacky layer off these pink parts because I want to matte top coat them. I don't like matte top coating on a tacky layer. I shouldn't have matte top coated them yet. I made a mistake but I'll show you anyway. So I'm just matte top coating over these pinks. I wanted these nails to be matte, the pink parts anyway. So I've gave them a matte top coat. And, like I said at the beginning, why I didn't need those lines to be perfectly crisp, because I'm going to outline them with this gold gold gel paint. So I'm going to outline this smile line, and I am going to do it straight down the middle of that other nail as well. So this is where I realised I forgot to put the decals on. They need to go on a tacky layer really. So these should have gone on before the matte top coat whilst the nail still had a tacky layer. So when you're cutting your decals out, cut them out as close to the image as you can get so you don't have a load of it overhanging. So whilst that's in the water doing its thing, I am using a very thin layer of base coat and I've cured that in the lamp just so I've got a little bit of a tacky layer for my decals to stick to. And I'm just going to slide the backing off that between my fingers and stick it on the nail. Yeah, these decals should have gone on the tacky layer of the gel polish, but it wasn't a problem. It just made me have a little bit extra work, that's all. So I'm going to now go over that again with a matte top coat. And same with the other decal. I'm going to use a base coat and get that stuck on. Um, the other decal as well, I edited a little bit of it out because... I couldn't decide where to put it, I stuck it in the middle, didn't like it, stuck it on the side, didn't like it and I had to peel it off twice but I ended up going with it in the middle. So that's that nail more or less finished, I'll let you watch for a sec. So 
So I'm quickly just going over this gold part again because some of the matte top coat went over that gold. So I'm just going over that gold again and sticking that in the lamp for 60 seconds. So this nail, I've just done a couple of little gold dots just to just because it was looking a bit plain, but I didn't want to didn't really want to put anything extra on it because I think these nails that tweed makes them look quite busy. So I didn't really want to put too much on it, but it needed something, didn't it? So I've pulled out my clear gems. I'm going to use some of them and some gold ones. These gems matched this set perfectly. And I like to fill all the little gaps with caviar beads. So I'm just using my rhinestone gel and I'm just marking out where I want my gems to go and stick all the gems on. There we go guys that is them finished i love how these turned out and listen don't spend another year doing the same shit fix up i know i certainly will not be spending another year doing the same shit especially if that shit stinks <laughs> i love how these turned out anyway guys that is it for today and that is it for this year i'm getting emotional i'm not even started i want to say a massive thanks to everyone that supported my channel this year I that supported my channel from the beginning you know who you OGs are I appreciate you all more than you will ever ever know seriously thank you all so so much I hope you all come back next year and carry on supporting my channel I hope you've I hope you all have a fantastic year I hope next year is good to all of you and yeah I just appreciate you all so much Happy New Year everybody, stay safe, keep smiling and don't spend another year doing the same shit. Happy New Year guys, love you all so much, take care, bye.